Tonight, several people are recovering from firework injuries, including children. And this evening, we're learning how many fires were sparked by 4th of July celebrations in Bear County. Ken's 5 reporter Hannah Tita has the numbers from the fire marshal's office. Hannah? You see, 35 fires cost hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage, and that's just in unincorporated Bear County, where fireworks are legal. Tonight, county leaders are just urging caution as they expect the celebrations to continue this weekend. Explosions in the sky sparks on the ground. The Bear County Fire Marshal's office is out with a new report that shows fireworks started 19 grass fires last night. They'll burst and then they'll fall back to the ground. Those those that fall back to the ground, those are embers and those embers can get carried by the wind. Bear County spokesperson Monica Ramos says dry conditions weren't the only challenge. Crews responded to fires started by used fireworks that weren't doused with water. We're told there were 10 trash fires, two structure fires and one other fire. We got almost 1800 phone calls that came through overnight. These were all for fireworks related, fire related. And a few of those calls ended in hospitalizations. In unincorporated Bear County, there were three traumatic injuries with fireworks. Two men suffered face and hand injuries, while a young child was treated for facial injuries. At University Hospital, officials say four children were admitted with firework injuries. We're told the ER was 70% busier than a typical Thursday. So parents, please, please, don't let your children play with fireworks. Ramos hopes this data inspires caution. We can realize that we do have some individuals out there who maybe bought a whole lot of fireworks and are planning on igniting them this weekend. Please, uh, you know, just stop and think about that. And there is some good news. We're told the overall number of fires sparked by fireworks is actually down this year compared to last. Now the Bear County Firework Hotline is no longer operating this year, so officials say if you see unsafe or legal firework activity, just call 911. Reporting live, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5.